Hey everyone, this is Ricky Bell with Victolic VDC. I'm a senior application developer for Victolic Tools for Revit. So today I want to talk about another one of the classic tools that's in Victolic Tools for Revit, the Resize Selection Tool. The idea for the Resize Selection Tool came up from the difficulties we were facing when resizing an entire system of pipe. So initially we created a tool that would support families that solved this problem for us. We've since improved the functionality and expanded it so it supports fabrication parts as well. So let me show you some of the issues we were facing while trying to resize pipe. Within Revit Families, if I were to make a selection and I wanted to resize this pipe, I can always go up to this green bar at the top and I can just change the size of it. Okay. But the moment I have something in there like a valve, let me drop one into this vertical here. This valve is technically a pipe accessory, and the moment I have this into my selection, I lose the option to resize this system. So the resize selection tool can be found in the modify ribbon under the pipe tools menu. It can also be found in the Victolic tools menu under pipe tools. When I click on resize selection, it'll show me what the size is currently, which is now 8 inch. If I wanted to take this down to 6 inch, I'll just move this up to 6 and click OK. Now pipe, pipe fittings, and pipe accessories will all get resized properly. Well, now that the system is resized, I can see an issue in my model where I have two fittings that are right next to each other without a coupling. Let's zoom into that area. Now we have two tools in the productivity tool section that can help fix this. I'm going to use a combination of disconnect elements and any connect to put this back together the way it should be. So in my toolbar, I'll click on disconnect element and click on the reducer. Okay, it doesn't appear to do anything, but it did disconnect from both ends. Now if I click on any connect, I can go from the elbow to the reducer, which puts in a coupling, and then I can go from the reducer to this coupling to correct that connection as well. Now let's resize a larger selection of components. This system right here is all eight inch, all the way up to the chiller. So at this point, I'll zoom out a little bit and I'll click on resize selection and change this to 6 inch. Now even though Revit has a native resize function, it can still get you into trouble. If we had a situation, I'll use another one of our tools, the delete pipe tool. If we had a situation where it was fitting to fitting and you wanted to resize using the Revit tool, there are some graphical issues that may happen. If I increase this from 6 inch to 10 inch, you'll see that these elbows and couplings end up on top of each other. Now they may still register as connected within Revit, but graphically they don't look good and they definitely don't give you accurate pipe dimensions. So I'm going to click undo and we'll resize this with the Victolic resize selection tool. We'll go from 6 inch to 10 inch. And you'll see that it takes that extra step to make sure that it's properly represented in your model. So that's the resize selection tool from the Victolic Tools ribbon in Victolic Tools for Revit. It's a selection-based tool that will resize pipes, pipe fittings, and pipe accessories together as well as fabrication parts. Thanks for watching.